V Trades Technical Analysis Course coming soon. What's up, traders? This is V Trades, and today I'll be doing a technical analysis breakdown for Otis Worldwide Corporation with the ticker symbol OTIS. This was a viewer's request, and thank you for your donation. If you want a chart analysis guaranteed to be done, please read the description below. Also, take a second to give the video a like and subscribe for more chart analysis. I appreciate it very much. This video is for entertainment purposes only, does not constitute any financial advice. I will first go over what I see on the daily chart and finish the video off with the weekly chart. So it looks like Otis Worldwide Corporation was previously inside of uptrend. You can see since January of last year all the way until August of last year, price action was continuing higher. I believe this was the channel that the price was respecting. And you can see that every time we came to the support side, we bounced. And every time we came to the resistance side, we came to the support side or got rejected from that. Looks like we came up short up here on the resistance side was shown signs of weakness we sold off and then from there we made a two-legged pullback in the form of a leg down a correction and another leg down and this took about from august to um you could say february of this year so that's a quite a long time for a correction to take place you see this this was the first leg down and then we went up in the form of two legs and right at the tip of this measured move is when we saw a lot more buying than previously. You can see that price action was stuck inside of this sideways range pattern for the most part. And just recently we had a break outside of it and we came back and found resistance at the bottom of the range. So that's not a good sign. You can see that previously when we come to the lows of the range, we want to be bouncing and then eventually price action broke through. We reversed pretty strongly. We came back to test the breakout level and we saw selling take place. And now it looks like we're continuing lower. So as of right now, it's kind of neutral just because this could be a short trap and we could see a prices break up above the $79, $80 level, find some type of support and then continue to trend higher, maybe to the uh, top side of the range or even a breakout on the opposite side because we had a breakout on the bottom side. Um, however, there's also clues for the price to continue lower because I can put a downtrend on the price and it looks like we just bounced from support. So we could see a little short term correction up uh, before we see lower prices. So you can see this yellow channel is in play. Let's go and make the range green. So we did bounce from support so we could wake, work our way to the opposite side of the channel which is right around that $84 level uh, that's a maybe depending on how strong this downtrend is we could just continue lower from here uh, there is a gap on the chart that was half filled you can see this huge empty space that's a gap and it was half filled because you can see that price action stopped right at the 7318 level however the to fill the gap completely is right around the 7166 level and I'll put a horizontal line there for you guys right now so to fill in the gap com completely and come back to the breakout level is a little bit lower than what price action reached. Uh, but again, we don't have to fill it. It's not a um, mandatory thing, but it's definitely a clue to pay attention to. You can see that again, I can do another measured move from the range breakout and it's also right at the gap. So that's some confluence for the price to reach the um, 71, 78 level because normally when we break outside of a range and, it's, and it is successful, we can make a measure move outside of it. And the measure move is right at the 71, 72 uh, level or right around that $71 target. And that's where the gap is uh, located to be completely filled. And it's the previous breakout level that hasn't been tested. So there's a few reasons right there. Another reason is that uh, the EMA is pointing down, it's acting as overhead resistance and we could be in the formation of a weak downtrend going lower. Uh, the bulls do have uh, the previous momentum in play because you can see that previously we were inside of a strong uptrend and now we had a two-legged correction. So this could be the end of the correction before we resume the uptrend. And they also have that the measured move is reached. So again, there are some signs that the correction is over, uh, at least temporarily, but we are getting re resistance from above uh, levels. So this is not a good sign either. So we have to wait and see. Uh, it just depends on how the price action develops. 
Uh, but if I were to choose where I believe the market can go, I believe we could probably reach that $71 target just because of how bearish the market is overall. So let's take a look at the weekly chart to wrap it all up. So before I show you guys the weekly chart, I want to show you guys the VIX. This is the volat volatility indicator. So basically a high number on the Y axis uh, determines or sh represents that there is more volatility in the market. Whenever we get high um, numerical values, that means there's high volatility. And when we're when whenever we are at the lows of this chart, that just determines indeci indecision and low volatility. So right now we are near high volatility levels uh, because previously the the lows were right around the eighteen uh, nineteen dollar uh, not, not dollar but um, um, numerical value uh, that looks like it was the average and now we are pretty much double that so we are seeing seeing some increased volatility across the markets and if i were to put a channel across the price action you can see that we are in the formation of an uptrend looks like prices are making higher highs and higher lows so we could be seeing some increased volatility in the market and you can especially see that the ema is starting to point up versus previously it was kind of flat so there is a long way to go uh, for the volatility uh, to be super high because back here in the 2020 crash, the volatility got up to an $83 level, excuse me, 83 level, which is extreme volatility. Right now, we're not even close to that, but with the trend continuing higher, we could see some higher volatility coming in the markets where the um, swings would be more exaggerated. So we could see some big drops very soon. Let's go back to the Otis stock. And let's wrap this up on the weekly chart. So on the weekly chart, you can see that's not a lot of price action because this is an IPO back in March of 2020. So it's been almost two years on the market. The 16th or um, the second week of March will probably be the two year birthday for this um, company on the market. So you can see that there was this nice little uptrend in play and now we had a break outside of it. So normally when we get a break outside of the uptrend, we usually go back up to reach us the previous high. Um, it looks like the correction knows over because we had a leg down and a two legged pullback before we got that second leg. So this looks very bullish, but it's just very difficult to be bullish in this market environment that we're currently in. So if I had to choose, even though I do see bullish signs, I do see bearish signs, but I'm just gonna have to go with the bears. I think it's just a safer bet as of right now. You can see that we did pull back and found resistance at the $80 level and we're starting to see some selling pressure. That doesn't mean we're going to see lower prices, but uh, something to pay attention to. Maybe they want to come back to fill in this gap and maybe even reach the $67 level because I do see that this was a previous breakout that we have not tested yet. So there are some lower prices to be reached. I don't know if they want to pull back this far, but uh, as of right now, if the market was continuing higher, then most likely this stock will also continue higher. Uh, as of right now, the market is very indecisive, so it's very difficult to pick which direction it wants to go, um, even for a professional as myself, as a professional um, technical analysis. So this is very difficult to choose which direction it wants to go. There are numerous signs pointing in both ways. You won't be wrong if you have a reason for to be bullish or bearish. So. I guess you just want to pick whatever you think the market will do. It's kind of like a toss up right now. It's not like previously where we were inside of an uptrend and price were just continuing up. Now we're kind of um, in the uh, no man's land where we have to decide if the correction is over and we're going to continue up uh, with the prevailing trend or we're just taking a breather before seeing a little more downside. So that's what I think we're going to do. And I have the target at the $68 level and we're going to have to wait and see um how price action uh, reacts around that 80 dollar level thank you for stopping by and checking out my video make sure to check out the rest of the channel since you might be surprised what you can learn leave a comment down below on where you think prices are headed also share the video if you want your friends to learn about the markets lastly i appreciate any feedback to help improve the channel since i want to deliver great content to you guys see you next time and bye